So, with the release of the Black Ops 4 beta, just came out today for PlayStation 4, the time of this recording. I can't play it yet because mine doesn't come out until the Xbox One beta comes out, which is going to be on, let's see, I already went over this in a different video, but uh, Xbox One is going to be available August 10th, just to clarify that. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about some of the details about uh, what's coming up in this Black Ops 4 beta, exactly what we're getting, and and also about the uh, specialists that we're getting as well. So sit back and relax, and we'll go over this together. These are articles from IGN. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 gameplay is, as the initial reports claims, committed to being more grounded with toned down sci-fi elements. Um, I like the sci-fi elements. I like I liked the fast-paced movement of Black Ops 3. I liked, I liked the thrust jumping to a point. I didn't like getting sniped by some guy like 100 feet in the air uh, over me. But um, yeah, I kind of like that fast-paced movement. I hope it's just as, as fluid and smooth as uh, Black Ops 3. From the trailer, it kind of does look like that they kind of kept that, you know, smooth movement. But automatic health regen is uh, gone. So we're going to have to find health packs, I guess. Um I don't know how I feel about that one yet. I mean, it probably will help with some of the uh, campers, you know, up in towers or whatever. It says it will feature six maps, two of which have never been seen before, as well as a familiar game modes like Team Deathmatch, Domination, Hardpoint, and Search and Destroy. A new objective-based game called Control will also debut. In Control, teams take turns attacking and defending static objects each round. Hmm. Participation in the Black Ops 4 beta comes with a reward, a unique displayable calling card. Okay, well, reach max rank in the beta and players will earn a permanent un unlock token. Cool, so uh, I'm going to be definitely going to be trying for that. Also featured in the multiplayer beta is the Pick 10. Oh good, Pick 10. Oh, I'm glad that's back. I didn't really like the system in uh, World War II, but uh, special issue equipment and gear slot and an all new, all new class of weapon attachments called operator mods. Okay, cool. Pick 10's back. Happy about that. Um, all of our modes are back. Uh, boots on the ground. Hopefully they still keep it nice and fast. I like fast pa fast paced uh, gameplay for, for especially for Call of Duty. The Blackout Beta, which will show off Black Ops 4 new Battle Royale, launches in September. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna have to wait another month to try that out. It will be available at launch and feature a map 1,500 times the size of an average Call of Duty map with weapons, tools, and even characters from Black Ops multiplayer and zombies. Leading to the official announcement of Black Ops 4 Battle Royale, Activision expressed its awareness of Battle Royale success. And to So yeah, they're trying to get in on that, uh, on that money train. I hope it's good. I mean, if it's good, I'll play it, you know? So let's go over um, a different IGN article here. Uh, they go over the 10 specialists detailed, so let's take a look at this. Okay, so the first one is, it says Prophet. Prophet's back. That doesn't look like a lightning gun there. It's just a sniper rifle. Representing the cutting edge of combat weaponry, Prophet uses technology to disrupt opponents' tactics and prevent them from closing in. Tempest is back, a tactical rifle that shoots electricity charged shock rounds to incapacitate. Okay, so it's just the same uh, profit that we had last time. Just a little more, uh, I don't know, not futuristic. A torque with a gift for improvised construction. Torque defensively controls the flow of combat by securing strategic tech points and positions. His ability is barricade, deploy reinforced cover protection while securing objectives, build in microwave field, slows damage, slows and damages enemies. Uh, okay, so what's this a builder, I guess? We got we got some Fortnite going on here, some Fortnite, some Minecraft action with uh, Torque. <laughs> uh, Recon, Recon's command of situational awareness makes him indispensable member of any unit, provides critical intel. Uh, his ability is vision pulse. Pulse the surrounding area to reveal enemies for a period of time. Didn't that used to be a sparrow? That used to be sparrows. One of her abilities. And we got batteries back. High explosive munitions are key to clearing out enemy entrenchments and explosive destruction is battery specialty. 
War Machine's back with her grenade launcher. We know about that. Oh, gonna bounce all over the place. Ice. Ajax. Bile Ajax is a tank. Barreling his way through enemy strongholds and providing mobile cover to his team as they breach and clear through battle space. Ballistic shield. Okay, so he's the... I'm thinking that he's the only person that's going to be using the shield, maybe. There probably will be other other shields, but this one has a machine pistol in it. Gotcha. So Ajax is our uh, shield man. Fire break is my favorite. was my favorite from Black Ops 3. I just love to, like, burn people. <laughs> so... Firebreak is a room clearing powerhouse uh, establishing a perimeter of area denial by harnessing the power of fire. Purifier is back. Flamethrower that shoots a steady gout of flame. Scorching enemies in close range. Nice. Reactor core as well. And Crash. In a critical push, Crash provides his team with the additional strength and combat resources needed to overwhelm the enemy. Uh, specialist ability tech 5 heals boosts max health and re removes wounds for the user of the four targeted allies works through walls so for those of you who play overwatch and you like to be mercy uh, there's your guy right there you like to fly around and heal people you're all about that crash uh, nomad relying on s survivalist training nomad has mastered the art of ambush as his primary tool Specialist ability attack dog. Oh boy, we got we got dogs back in back in Call of Duty, man. Attack dog that can be commanded to follow you or patrol a designated. Here we go, Call of Duty ghosts back. It looks like a pit bull this time. Looks like uh, dogs. Looks like it's been through some stuff. Some big old pity. Got some Call of Duty ghosts action in there. Got some Fortnite. Got some Overwatch. Got a little bit of everything for you. Um, Seraph. A disciplined and merciless warrior, Seraph commands strategic control of the map, directing her team to victory. Annihilator pistols back, or revolver I guess would be, massive high caliber, yeah, revolver that fires devastating rounds with increased bullet penetration. Alright, one more, uh, Ruin, 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 Ruin. Ruin's the guy that pisses everybody off, every, every squad needs a rusher to push forward and deal the initial blow with overwhelming force and ruins the tip of the spear a specialist ability grave slam a short aggressive leap that delivers a lethal blast and radius around point of impact yeah those are our specialists for black ops 4 oh i forgot to talk about the zombies mode black ops 4 zombies mode will have three maps at launch as well as difficulty levels tutorials a custom mode with over 100 options online challenges and callings and more Okay, we saw like the Coliseum themed map. We saw like some of that like uh, gladiator action. Uh, it looks kind of interesting. I'm, I'm probably most looking forward to seeing how they're gonna take Call of Duty and make it into a battle royale, and see see if that's any good. I'll be playing the multiplayer beta here coming up in a few days, so stay tuned for that. So this looks like. This is resembling Black Ops 3 a lot here. We got a lot of the same specialist, a lot of the same specialist equipment, um, but hopefully they make it a different enough experience. We got dogs. Hey, we got dogs. Borg, Borg, right? We got dogs. If you're a PlayStation 4 owner and you're playing it right now, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, but we will be going over this as soon as this comes out. I'll keep you updated with any new, any new news, anything like that. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, join us. Join the Gothic Arch movement. <laughs> Leave a comment and I will see you next time.